So everybody knows that a great steak needs great shrimp and then every shrimp needs a sauce. So what we're gonna use, we're gonna use one cup of ketchup, which takes two teaspoons of Worcestershire sauce. We're gonna use garlic powder uh, to taste. We're gonna use two tablespoons of horseradish. Uh, we're gonna use two tablespoons of lemon juice and uh, two teaspoons of Frank's, Frank's hot sauce. And so I'm gonna show you just really fast just a quick cocktail sauce that you can put together. You've probably got most of these ingredients at the house now, but we're gonna take and we're gonna do one cup, one cup of ketchup, two teaspoons of Worcestershire sauce, garlic powder to taste. My family, we love garlic, so I'm gonna put some, you know, shake that in there. Two tablespoons of fresh horseradish. Gabriel's love the horseradish. Gonna take two tablespoons of lemon juice, two teaspoons of hot sauce. Gonna give it a good, good stir. Now here's the secret to the fresh cocktail sauce. It's better as it's chilled. So you need to make sure that once you've made it, that you put it in the fridge and let that chill for about 24 hours. Look at this. Ooh, look at that. I mean, hang on, hang on a second. Mmm, man. Now that sauce needs some shrimp. It's peeled, deveined, cooked shrimp. This one here is a 21 to 25 count. Slay those bad boys out. Now here's the thing, a lot of you guys probably don't do it the way I do it, but I like these to set in the refrigerator to thaw out for a day. I think when you rinse them with water to thaw them out a little bit too quick, you're losing some of that flavor. Let's try this out. Now again, that cocktail sauce gets better. Get that old tail off there. Mmm. Man, that was it. That's worth eating. There's your shrimp cocktail. Now I want to show you just real fast, because again, every great steak needs some great shrimp. So I'm going to saute some shrimp. Peeled and deveined tail on. Now this product is raw. You want to make sure when you cook this that you've thawed it out as well before you cook it. If not, when you throw it in there frozen, you're going to create some water. Now I'm going to take my butter. I'm going to go ahead and turn the heat up on that. Medium to high. I'm going to take my shrimps, put them in here again. I don't have any seasoning in there yet. Man, I'm telling you, there's not much better than a really great steak sitting next to some really good shrimp. And so anyhow, I'm gonna let these saute, then we're gonna come back and flip them in just a minute. So here we are, they've been on for a few minutes. Go ahead and give them a couple flips. You don't wanna overcook them. You notice that I'm just using butter. I've got my heat on about a medium, a little over medium to high. Really starting to pinkin' up on me. Come over here, and you can really use any seasoning. Again, I'm, I love Chris's exclusive. I'm gonna come over and lightly season. Top of those. Oh man, I wish you were here to smell that. Dad gum. Sauteed shrimp. Shrimp cocktail with our homemade cocktail sauce that I'm telling you, I wish you was here to taste that off the charts. Remember, every steak. Needs some good shrimp, and every shrimp needs a good sauce. Let's try this bad boy out here. Look at this. Take that tail. Oh man, just pop. Look at that. Can you get that? Mmm. Mmm. Hey, you got to try this. That cocktail sauce, super easy, super good. Didn't take a whole lot. Shrimp, something easy. Put it right beside a great steak. Man, that's really good. Steak and shrimp. Anyway, hey guys, do us a favor and go subscribe to our YouTube channel.